Welcome back to a late night edition of Beer Geek Beer Reviews. Um, I just thought after coming home from dinner I would have a nightcap um, and what a nightcap um, this shall be. I decided, you know, I haven't used my oversized um, wine glass or um, uh, bourbon tasting glass in, in quite a while and I thought I'd use it. Um, this is a big beer so I thought a big glass. Um, it might help catch some of the aromatics. It might help catch, you know, whatever else that I may or may not be missing. Um, this will not... It won't give anything special, but at the same time, I mean, because it's got a big bulb, it's going to push up those aromatics up to um, the, the focal point uh, uh, right up into my nose. Um, so let me get right into the beer. This is Evil Twins Brewing Little Bee. Naturally, I, I, I would have probably passed this over, but I'm like, okay, I, I want an Imperial Porter, and what a Imperial Porter, um, indeed, this is an 11.5% Imperial Porter, I am not going to get into the little rhyming that they got over here onto the side, um, it's just got a production code, uh, 142. Point fifteen, uh, thirteen point four three. Uh, there is no other dating on it. Um, I don't want to stir it up too much. M matter of fact, um, most of these twelve ounce bottles, I, I could probably see down here, or you know maybe you know within this vicinity here. But this twelve. A full ounce bottle. I am actually seeing the liquid way, way up here. So this is overfilled. So I'm going to be very, very careful with this um, this beer um, this evening. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this. I, I do not need said cap, but we'll, let's try this. And it is right there right here I can see the bubbles right now it's right there um, so let's go ahead and pour that looks very rich very thick very inviting with that said 11.5 Five percent. I figured that it would dissipate rather quickly, and it did leave a very, very dark. Um, how do I say this? Mahogany little center um, there, and 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 a, a very dark mahogany ring uh, around uh, the blackness that is the beer. Let's see if we can't stir it up and get some kind of head going on here. That's what I like about this big glass. I can create a, a massive head for the camera. Look, look at that head. It is very dark, very rich, very creamy. Um, it's got like that nice mahogany hue to it, but at the same time, it's got, again, 11.5%. It's not gonna stick around very long. Um, but the head of it is just amazing. I mean, it's it's fluffy. It's, it's it looks rich. It looks thick. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, an aroma, shall we? You can kind of pick up the alcohol on it, but at the same time, I'm getting a lot of vanilla notes. I'm getting a lot of coffee and chocolate and, and, and roasted malts. I am just definitely getting all what should technically be inside of a an imperial porter. But, oh my God, my mouth is watering, salivating so bad. Um, I just want to dive into it. Uh, so with that said, man, prost, I'm going to get into this. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, little B. Oh, little B. Little B is very good. Um, I'm not really getting any of the alcohol, which is a very bad thing because that's what makes this beer so drinkable. Um, but I'm definitely, definitely getting a crap ton of roasted malts. I'm definitely getting that big, sweet baker's chocolate. Um, it, it reminds me of like the 70 to 80 percent uh, little chocolate squares that you can get into the um, specialty grocery stores. Um, I'm definitely getting the coffee notes. The coffee is just a uh, roastiness, uh, a little bit of a bitterness to it. Um, generally the coffee flavor uh, there is a little bit of a vanillic flavor to it as well but it, it's not something that stands out per se but uh, it, it is definitely there and it is it's very rich it's very hearty it's a big full mouth feel uh, it's it's definitely worth your time and worth your effort to seek out this beer if you have not had it yet. If you like porters, definitely get Little B. Little B is a phenomenal beer right now. Um, I may or may not change my mind by the end of the beer, but at this point right here at this review, it is a phenomenal beer, and I would urge anybody who likes porters to definitely seek this out and definitely try it. So with that said, man, peace, pro deuce, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you disliked it, and I will see you guys again up on the flip side, man. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, and just remember, drink great, amazing craft beers, and I will see you guys again later. Peace.